Gosha, Gosha. Where have you gone? So what's new on the menu? What would you like to order? Good coffee, of course. Here for the first time? I haven't seen you before. Mm -hmm. Then try any. All our coffee is good. Then you choose. Mm, then... With spices and strong. Will that do? Let's do it. On one condition. If I don't like it, I'll take you to a place with actually good coffee. But if I like it... I'll invite you to have ice cream. Are you so polite with everyone? Alexandra, what do your friends call you? Alia. I'm Gosha. To my friends. Who? Sasha's at daycare. Grandma will pick him up. Thank you. I hope you didn't say anything to her. I wouldn't even talk about the fact that you started dating. It was immediately obvious he was a jerk and wasn't serious. Who could see that, Val? Okay, that's all. Let's drop it. It's just, I'm trying my best not to say, I told you so. I think that's all you ever say. <laughs> You're a fool, Alia. You're smart, but a fool. Are you going to go to all the bars to meet him now? Do you even remember what he called you? Do you want him to realize he was right? Val, calm down, please. You don't understand. I am calm. It's just so obvious. You know what, sister? I'm really hurt and ashamed for I'm you. I'm not going to chase after him. I just need to understand. I just want him to tell me personally about the annoying woman with the trailer. Now I'm going to Prague to try to make his friend speak. Maybe he knows how to find him. Do you remember where that rooftop beach club is located? Yes, I do. Can you go there, please? If you see Gosha there, call me. Okay, I will. Thank you. I'm going to go. Yep, so be it. Can't punch him in the face after all, although I would hit him. showed up. Now this Gosha goof will get a scolding. <sighs> he almost fell out of the taxi yesterday. He's probably sleeping now. It's okay. Bad M will deal with his hangover. <laughs> Gosha? Gosha? It's mom. Mom is home! Boy, he made a mess. Wake up. Time to get up. Son. Igor, wake up immediately. <clears throat> Hello, Mom. Good day, Gosha. Get yourself an order and make me a coffee. Mm -hmm. Mom. <sighs> Son, is it so difficult to call the cleaning lady and clean up the house? When will you grow up? When will you take on more responsibility? You're a good guy, I know. I'll do better, Mom, I promise. I just... I didn't know when I would wake up. There was a party yesterday. Here you go, Mom. Thank you. Igor. Yes, Mom. Now, yes, here's a glass. Why the sudden drinking? What drinking, Mom? It's just a day off. I drink a little. And 
And where did you leave your car? Uh... Don't worry, my driver will bring it back. Great. Remember you trying to tell me off when I put a GPS tracker on your car? As you can see, not for nothing. 35 years and you're still a boy. Without supervision, you goof off. By the way, are you still dating that... that girl? Waitress? She's a barista. Doesn't matter. I understand that while I'm abroad, you want to rebel, but that's enough. Got it? Enough. We broke up yesterday, Mom. That's great. That's fine. Okay then. Let's consider yesterday's binge a full stop to this affair. Yes, Mom. Mm, I met up with Kostislavski yesterday. Wonderful. You need to communicate with him more. And nothing will stop me from calling his mother and inviting her to have a cocktail. You need to be friends with that family. I'll be back. I'm worried. Why are you getting worked up? Let's go get lunch. Let's do Prague. I need to talk to Koistra. You know, the idea of a bride is of course strange, but he shouldn't worry his grandpa right now. Okay. Do you think my father is serious about the new will? It seems to me, Elena, that this is a way of putting pressure on Kostya. <sighs> My son is not the kind of person who can be easily pushed around. That's one way they're similar. Elena, I don't approve of Mikhail's decision. You know that. Sit down. How is Christina? I haven't seen her in ages. She just got back from Austria. Mm. Did she vacation? No, she worked. She designed an art gallery in Vienna. Well done. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You know, I've been meaning to redecorate my house. Do you think she'd be interested? Why not? You know how our family treats you. If you remember, I don't like flattery. No, flattery, Olena. She came to me when she was 10 years old and said, Dad, go marry Aunt Olena. She's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What a pity she broke up with Koistra. Such a beautiful couple. They grew up together. I don't understand what happened. You're not the only one. Uh, yeah. It's good she's back now. Be sure to visit us one of these days at home. Koistra will be there as well. A great idea.
Tell them to make me an espresso. Very well. Hello, Constantine. Hello, Ida. She's been waiting for you at table eight. What's this, yesterday's visitor? Uh-huh. She's been sitting there for over an hour. She ordered a glass of 50 beer Chablis. Not bad. Here you are, Mr. Constantine. Better. What happened yesterday? I overdid it with the temperature working with a new machine. Repeat yesterday's order for table eight. Fat-free latte and oriental coffee. Yes, of course. Ida, bring two more glasses of Chablis 2015 and both coffees. Alexandra. You know how to surprise. I didn't think we'd see each other again. I'm looking for Gosha. Do you know where he is? I have no idea. Why is that? You're in the mood for Chablis, me too. And since we're sharing the same table, why not have a drink together? I didn't invite you to my table. But you came to ask me about Skvartsov. So I came to meet you. I want to say I will not allow anyone to call my son a trailer. I'm sorry. That was really low on my part. Alexander's a wonderful kid, and I think I owe him a tank. Forget it. I can buy him anything he wants myself. This is unnecessary. My new barista was still figuring out the machine yesterday. You're a barista, right? So I'm asking your expert opinion on yesterday's order. It's better. Hmm. Yes, not bad. And now this You'll one. figure it out yourself somehow. Are you really friends with Gosha? What he asked you to tell me is true? In that case, please tell him that we need to meet. May I ask, why? Because that's not how it's done. He has to tell me face to face. Honestly, why do you need that? What do you want to convince him of? It's none of your business. My advice to you, give Skvorts off a break and focus on finding a new sugar daddy. With your looks, it should be easy. Oh. Come on, wait. Stop. What else? I want to knock all this garbage out of your pretty head. My head is my business, and you're a sick person in general if you behave like this with strangers. You're just so good at irritating me. Likewise. Alexandra, I will certainly convey to Gorsha your desire to meet, but I'm sure he'll refuse. Do you know why? Because the only thing worse than an annoying woman is a very annoying woman. Impressive beauty. As far as I understand, strangers don't behave like that. Sister, where are you? I'm on my way. Well, hurry up. All the guys are going to be here soon. <laughs> Very funny. Have you seen Gosha there? <laughs> Not yet. Two whiskey colas. Okay, I'll be there soon. All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting at the bar. Understood. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Listen, this is fate. Your friend is late. So is mine. Just fate, you say? No one is preventing us from getting to know each other. I'm Dima, and <laughs> you are? Well, if you're such an original, Go ahead and guess. What's this, kindergarten? I don't know. Go and find someone older. That's a lot of talk. 
Surrey, right? Surrey, can I sit with you for a while? Until my sister comes? <sighs> Is that your way of meeting people? Also not very original. <laughs> it's bad. It'll do. What's your name since you came to me? I won't guess. You don't need it. Valentina. Hmm, Valentina. Okay, I'll remember. Hello. Hi. Another half an hour and my skills to blow off guys alone would have been 100%. I'm sorry. What do you have there? Nothing. He didn't say anything. The same kind of jerk as Goja. Well, the main thing is that we don't have to wait for eternity. For this wonderful Gosha. We won't wait for eternity. This is his favorite place. He'll appear sooner or later. Wait, did you delete his photo from your phone? No, I haven't had time yet. Great. What? Do you want to delete it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so hey, can you recognize this thief for us? Yeah, I know him. Eight shots of tequila. Does he come here often? Actually, he's here now. Right there. With that guy that rolled up on you. Oh, yes, exactly. He also has fun with silicone girlfriends. Of course. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies, ladies, you won't cause any problems? Of course not. That's my best friend. I want to surprise him. Word of the Jedi. Yeah, that's how we live. <laughs> Hello. Let's talk? Elliot, you're not here, okay? Come on. Why not? Isn't he great? So charming. We dated for six months. A complete romance. Hell yeah, maybe that's enough. Why? I just want to warn the girls. There's not only male solidarity, so the story goes like this. He invited me to a restaurant. I went, I sat, and I waited. I waited an hour or two, no one. He didn't call, he didn't write, he didn't answer my calls or texts. What happened? We didn't fight, there were no conflicts. Yeah, what is that? Maybe there was an accident, maybe a landslide, maybe the virus attacked suddenly. No, you know what happened? We broke up. He just forgot to inform me about it. Forgive me, Alia. Let's go and politely talk it through. Together? Then why didn't you come and talk to me? Together. Gosha, we'll go. Why didn't you come and tell me this? Looking me in the eye. We broke up. That love has passed. What kind of person are you? What kind of man are you? A normal man who doesn't want to be made a fool of. A fool? After you sent your friend to break up with me for you? I don't Security. even know hey, what to call them. you. But I know what to call you. A mom looking for a dad for her trailer. His name is Sasha. Miss, calm down. I Come am with calm. me. I see. Please leave me alone. Don't touch me. Miss. I'll let you go. Please, I'm asking you. I didn't do anything like that. Leave me alone. Broski. Who's the woman? An insane one. <sighs> the situation seems clear. Will you write a statement? What statement? Well, assault, infliction of light bodily harm. There's no need for any statements. We sorted it out. Oh? Then everyone's free. And you, miss, the next time you sort out your relationships with men, don't lose your cool. This is how it will turn out. How Gosha, it will turn out? The police! We're filing an assault shh, statement. Shh, shh, we're going shh, to take action shh, now. I said that she would bring you trouble. You're going to follow my instructions, got it? Mom. What? Let's go home, please. Which home? Go write a statement. I'm not writing a statement. What? I don't understand. I'm not pressing charges, Mom. Alia, I wish your son a proper father. <gasps> she comes with a trailer? If you touch my son, I will sue you! Got it, Fixin? Do you understand me or not? Calm down, let's go home. Which home? Write a statement. Mom, please, let's I go. I warned you. Just get I in the car. You. Get in the car. I'll sit. Alia, I need to go back to the club for a second. You want that bartender's number? You guessed it. Wait for me here, then we'll get a taxi and I'll fill you in, okay? Bye. Alia, 
where are you? The taxi's here. Go alone. I don't want to go. You don't want to go? Where are you? I just want to go for a walk, get some fresh air. Everything will be fine with me. Don't worry. Wait, where are you going? Val? Alia? Val! Hello? Hello? Shoot. The battery's dead. Where are you going? <gasps> where are you going? Oh, crap. <sighs> You again. you again. Were you waiting for me? Are you drinking and driving? You fell uh, right into my lap again. Yes, I fell down. You ran over me. Does anything hurt? Can you walk? I can. I lost my shoe. I'll find it. Sheesh, young Cinderella. Give me Shoot, your leg. I'll do it. take you to the hospital. I don't need to go to the hospital. I just twisted it. At least put some ice on it. Let's go. I'll think of something. What kind of day is it today? Hello? Shoot. So are we going? Let's go. Here you are. Your ice. And two double espressos, please. Yeah, okay, you got no it. No sugar. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. You want the nastiest coffee in this city? Worse than yesterday at Prague? You're being sarcastic, I guess it's better. What's with your hand? Oh, I talked to Gosha. He had to call the police. So you found him? Yeah, now I'm alone. Did you hit him or something? Yeah. It was painful. I wouldn't do that again. His mother called me a... Um... Vixen. Do you know what that is? Mm -mm. I don't know either. I would like to think that it's something confectionery, like cream puffs. <laughs> Vixen puffs. <laughs> <laughs> she was so unpleasant that I doubt it's a cake. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Wait, how did Arena get there? Thank you. Thank you. She came to protect her son, a real mother. She promised to sue me. <laughs> Irina is a... Uh, an iron monster, she really could. Uh... Who's your son with? He's with his grandmother. Uh, <laughs> I need to go, she'll be dropping him off soon. Can I borrow your phone? I really need to make a call. Must be hard to be alone. I'm not alone. I have my son, mother, and sister. Hello? Who is this? Val, it's Alia. I'm fine. Listen, Alia, where did you disappear to? I'm already at home. Whose number is this? It's okay, don't worry. It's the phone of a really mean person. What? I'm kidding, he's fine. Alia, are you all right? Especially when he's silent. Well, come home, okay? I'll be home soon, don't worry, bye. Bye. A mean person. Didn't sound like it.
thank you for the lift and for listening to me. I needed to vent. <laughs> it's fine. I, uh, I'm sorry for almost crushing you and for saying all sorts of nasty things. I forgive you. Have a nice evening. You too. Bye. Maybe I'll stop by the cafe. Come by. I'll share a good recipe. Yes, Mom. Your grandfather was operated on. He's already awake. He wants to see you right away. Okay, on my way. These tests don't match. Let me see. Agreed. I've also watched the whole evening. No, everything was fine. I don't understand it. Maybe first and last names were mixed up. Such sharp indicators could be wrong. We'll do it again, and one more time after that. I'm worried as it is, you know? Question, my advice, don't argue with him now. Save it for later. You know how the hospital affects Mikhail. I don't know. You don't because you don't remember him in the hospital except for routine examinations. So it's like this. Five years ago, when he injured his knee in Salzburg, I also came to him with a will. And then he was gonna leave his house in Cyprus to Ella and he wanted to send her to live there right away. But he didn't send her. No, he didn't. And it'll be that way now. Ilya, okay, in simple English, what does Grandpa's request mean to me? As long as the old will is valid, you're the only heir. But there's one condition in the new document. If you don't get engaged within a month of signing it, then in the event of Mikhail's death, you will only become the manager of money and property until you have a child. Then you as guardian manage the inheritance until the child comes of age. After that, the issue of your, so to speak, financial support will be decided by the heir. Great. <sighs> okay. Suppose I don't have an heir. Well, if an heir does not appear within a year after Mikhail's death, then everything goes to charity. This is nonsense! Kostya. And when's the old man planning on signing this new version? After the weekend. If you don't introduce your fiance at the family dinner. <sighs> Thank you, Ilya. I'm going to see my grandpa. You know what, Grandpa? You'll have your girl at dinner. But how will you know if I even like her? For 230 bucks, I'll hire such a smart, beautiful woman for the evening, you'll be blown away. Question. What, Mom? If he's decided to marry me in this way, let him be prepared for the consequences. And you take that risk, take it. And if you succeed, I swear, I will confess to Markivna where I hid the sticks. <laughs> but it won't work out for you. <laughs> I know you like the back of my hand. We'll see.
maybe something spicy. And a little bit of love. Hello. Hello. You look great. Thank you. Do you want anything? Uh, no, thanks. It's very cute here. Tell me, can we talk privately? Right now, no. We can talk after work, but not for long. About what? More on Gosha? No, no, no Gosha. I have a business proposal. So you're suggesting that I pretend to be your fiance and be a bitch in front of other people? Are you serious? That's why I'm offering it to you. I've seen what you're like when you're angry. Ha, huh, just like this. Okay, okay, I won't provoke you anymore. Are you provoking me on purpose? Wait, wait, no one else could handle it. You have a rare sense of self-worth. And why is that even needed? If I have to portray uh, a hunter of golden boys. Because only a person like you can understand the horror of the situation I find myself in. I suppose, but I still don't understand why I should sacrifice my reputation to help you. Well, because you were honest, smart, beautiful. Also, I, you're a very kind person. Great. Dinner will be scheduled in a few days, and before that, Grandpa will, of course, want to make sure that you are not a fake. What's that mean? That means that we're already being watched. Will you play along? And you'll also have the opportunity to get revenge on Gosha for his stupidity. I'm not taking revenge on Gosha. It's not his fault he doesn't love me. Do you love him? None of your business. Wait, wait. How about you take some time to think about it? And if you say no, I won't keep bugging you. I'll go to my grandpa's housekeeper and ask her. I'll be a little sad, but always full and wearing a hat. Okay. Can I at least give you a ride? I have to pick up my son. That's wonderful. Then we can go to the mall. Ah, oh, dang it. I only have problems from you. Mom, the batteries are dead. Yes, let's have breakfast. We'll deal with the tank later. Sit down. Oatmeal. Hold the spoon. Who's Uncle Costa? Uncle Koistra is nobody familiar to us. A nobody wouldn't give me a tank. He wants to be our friend. Maybe he was just apologizing. Did he behave badly? Mm-hmm. It's good he came instead of Gosha. I like him more. And you? You've never seen Gosha. And I've already seen Uncle Costa twice. Can we go to a movie with him? How about you eat your oatmeal first? Yes, Captain. Hello. I was just thinking about you. I thought about your proposal. I'm ready to meet today and discuss the details. So, how's the investigator doing? Everything is as you wanted, from seven in the morning until he goes home. Well, that's what's needed. 
Yes, if there's news, stop by, only not here, but home. I'm being discharged. Mikhail, to be honest, there's already news. Already? Mm-hmm. Hello, Mom. Why so early? Good morning. I was bored. I wanted to ask, uh, when will you be at Prague today? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I won't make it today. Koister, are you sick? I have a meeting in the evening. Might tie me up. And who is the meeting with, if it's not a secret? Uh, what happened? You're being so mysterious. I thought you might have a date. Hmm? <laughs> no, Mom. What date? Business. Well, okay. Have a nice day. My busy son. And she takes the bait. Good morning, Miss Olena. Good morning. Back Is Koista here? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, we need to talk. Yes, of course. You say she sat with the child all evening? With her child? Yes. And my son poured wine on her. Hmm, that's right. And she did the same? Well, I don't know about that, but... Constantine returned to the hall in a wet shirt. He looked angry. Oh, like, what do you think? Do they know each other? Even if they don't, this is the first time I've seen such a spark between two people. A woman with a child. I feel my grandson is bluffing. Let your man continue. To the ward. 